All right, hello fake bakers. What I'm gonna show you today is not, not only how to make your pumpkin pies look really good, but also smell really good. So what I did here is I just got a paper bowl and I painted it with apple barrel black, a couple coats, and then I painted it with folk art, silver sterling metallic. And then this is what I got. It's what it looks like on the outside. Kind of has that old rustic look. Then I cut off a toilet paper tube and I put it in the center of this to make it just flush with it so when I put the top on it, it's going to rest on there. So what I'm gonna do is hot glue this to the bottom. Right in the middle. Okay, next, I got a piece of thin cardboard and cut a circle just to cover the inner rim of the pie pan, just so it fits like that. But what I'm gonna do is I got a little box and I put aluminum foil in it. I'm going to set this on top of an extra sheet of aluminum foil. And what I'm going to do is I've got this candle. Yeah, I got it at Goodwill. It was already burnt down. You're going to do it in one pour. You're going to pour it over your piece of cardboard. And I also painted this with pumpkin orange from Apple, Apple Barrel. So what you're going to do with your oven mitt, do not burn yourself, is one straight pour on this. Make sure it's completely covered. All right. Now while that is drying, I have the border for your pie. I bought this at Michael's. It's called Celebrate It Rolling Embosser and Cutter. So what you do is you get your clay, and I colored mine with just a very little bit of classic caramel. And what you wanna do is roll it in a ball Then roll it in a worm. Take that off there. Try it again. Now with every new tool that you use for your fake bakes, there's always a learning curve. And it took me a while to figure this one out, but I finally did. I'm just going to do a small one. So you make your worm. You want to make it kind of thick. Just flatten it out about half, not completely flat. It has to be thick enough so when you roll your embosser on there, it actually shows. And it came with three different wheels. It came with a leaf. It came with, I'm not sure, I think this is another kind of leaf, but this is the braid. And if you use your, this was, I'll just give you the price, this rolling embosser cutter was $7.99, but if you use your 30% off coupon, it's probably around five bucks, depending. A lot of their things are on sale right now, Michaels. All right, so, I'm trying to get a best angle to show you. When you first start rolling it out, you want to hold the back. Otherwise, it's going to roll up into the roller. Then you press it down. And roll it out. Okay, and it won't cut it for you. So what you just need to do is go in 
and just trim the edges with your scissors. You see how nice and perfect that made the braid for your pies? Um, I'll show you the other, the other two. The tool is very easy to use. You just pop it off and pop these off. We'll do the leaf. I'll show you what the leaf looks like. It's on like that and you just pop it on. Roll it out to a snake. Roll it out flat. Hold the back. And press it down. Oh, these are little acorns. How pretty that is, little acorns. All right, and then I'll show you the third one. Third one is maple leaves. Get the wheel. Third one here. Flatten it out. Hold the back. Press it down. And this one is maple leaves. And then you just trim the sides with your scissors. Something else that I've learned that this nice cutter can do too is great for your fake bakes. I take the little rubber wheel off and if you're wanting a nice thin, a nice thin slice, it also slices it perfectly. You may have to trim it though because you know how all of this foam clay is, it really likes to stick to each other. Make it wide enough. And then just trim off with your scissors the extra, but it makes a nice size slice. All right, so now we have our pumpkin pie where we poured the wax on the top of it. We're gonna get our pie pan and we are going to hot glue the edge. I would probably pour the wax over this over like a garbage can or something because I poured it into this little aluminum foil and it had a little extra there. Okay, I have a border already made and I'm going to get my clear tacky glue. And we're gonna put it all the way around. Make sure you get enough. And then 
I'm gonna get the braid border because that's the one I like the most. Off real quick. And then once you get to the end, snip off what you think you you need. A little bit more. pretty little pie that this one smells like fried cinnamon buns. It has the little specks in it from the candle that looks like the spices of a pumpkin pie. Now what I'll probably do since this is because I poured it in a plate. If you pour it over something that is just going to roll off it won't do that because in this this one I made it didn't do that. So what I'll probably do is put some whipped cream around the edge and then one in the middle and I'll cover that. But there you go, it smells wonderful. It adds a little festive touch to all of your fall fake bakes. Thank you.